What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I know it's been a while since I posted but today we're giving you an update on the, on the uh, eBay build 335. Um, the turbos went. So we we're going to rebuild the twins with some eBay uh, center cartridges that I had bought previous. And uh, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up going single turbo. So one of my, my, uh, my boys is mocking up the manifolds now so we can start the build. Uh, I'm tearing the motor apart on the car as we speak because we are redoing every single little bit of gasket um, since we are going single turbo and I don't know how long that eBay turbo is going to last. So once it gets here I'll, I'll post it up. Um, we'll probably put somewhere in here a picture of what the manifold is going to look like after it's done. We already mocked one up. And uh, I got two turbos. I have uh, two 57 millimeter. One is a board Wagner, if I didn't butcher that. And the other one is uh, just a regular, um, I don't even know what brand it was. It's just no brand turbo. Um, we'll see how it goes. So I'm on my way to go pick up some tools and then go into the garage to go and start, or finish working on the, uh, the 335. So I'll catch up with you guys when I get there in three, two, one. Ah, change of plans. Uh, we were gonna go to my boys at my my boys, my uh, best friend's garage, so and start working on the BMW. But we're gonna stop at Isaiah's quick, so I can show you guys uh, the manifold and how he's heading up his car. Um, he did the first start of yesterday. Everything seemed fine, so we gotta go and check it out today. So uh, once I once I get there, I'll uh, I'll uh, yeah. This is my 335. Um, we're doing a single turbo kit build on there. I built this kit personally. Um, I wasn't a fan of spending six, seven grand on a turbo kit. For real. So I decided to, I'm a fabricator and everything. I'm an electromechanic. So I decided to build my own kit um, on a budget. Um, by budget, I mean, you save money doing your own work. So turbo and wastegate and all that, everything is still name brand. I just like, to keep my own stuff. So I bought my own stainless, I made my own manifold. So here, I made a single turbo kit top mount. Um, we can do bottom mounts and all that. I was a fan of the top mount because it's a big turbo and an M54, so that's something that you wanna see when you open up the hood. So I built my own manifold. I built the downpipe, the wastegate um, dump tube and all that. We went with a Board Warner S362 turbo. Um, a lot of people use these turbos on trucks and all that. Um, here, we're putting on a BMW M54. Um, we used a Turbo Smart 44 millimeter um, hyper hyper gate wastegate. Um, I usually use tile wastegates. I have an SRT4 that I have built. Um, we'll do some content on that someday. Yeah, hell yeah. We'll post that. Definitely gonna um, get that. I have a tile 44 millimeter wastegate on my Neon SRT4 as well, but nothing compares to the Turbo Smart wastegates. The quality on these wastegates and just the way that they're machined and everything, it's top notch. There's nothing beating that. My tile. This this Turbo Smart shits on my tile, but here's my build. Um, it's an M54. It's a 2009 BMW 335 XI. It's all-wheel drive, and it's a sedan version. This is the E90. Um, I used to have upgraded twins on here. I had eBay 17T turbos, and they blew on me after 10,000 miles. They're really good turbos. Um, I'm running e E40 blend. Um, I also have meth injection and everything. I was making around 550 horsepower on that car. I never dynoed it. But I felt a little lag with the 17T turbos. A lot of people say you don't really get lag on the twins, but I did. And I didn't have exhaust leaks or anything. But something something was just wrong with those turbos where they, they wouldn't spool like people are saying. So I think you need your personal experience on twins. Um, but everyone's car runs different. It's not all the same. So once I blew those twins, um, I didn't really feel like spending $1,000 for another twin turbos and then labor and all that. I, even though I do my own labor, but not everyone does that. Um, to do to do turbos, you're probably looking at like maybe four or five grand for somebody to swap it. Oh yeah. So I'm a fan of doing my own work. Um, I've been doing this stuff since I was like nine years old. But even though I do my own work, doesn't mean that I want to go through the headache of dropping the subframe and the axles and suspension and all that just to change twin turbos and downpipes and an install gaskets. When you go with single turbo setup, 
you had the turbo sitting right here. So if your turbo were to ever blow, you could actually rebuild these compared to twin turbos where it's, rebuilding them is an arm and a leg. Yep, and it's an easy access. Yes, very easy access. As, as opposed to the all, twins. All you gotta do is take off the downpipe clamp, which is right here, remove your oil, oil feed line, oil drain line, and then your, your cold side pipe, and the four bolts, your turbo's out. That's all it is. Compared to dropping a subframe and everything else, mm -hmm. just to remove twins. Um, Yes, you do have heat up top, but there's ways around that you can heat management. I only have a titanium wrap around the whole manifold itself. I also have it on the wastegate down tube and my downpipe. But if we have any issues with heat, um, I'm thinking about in the future, maybe we'll get some contact about that as well. I'm thinking about sending my parts out to get ceramic coated and then um, titanium heat wrap around yep. it as well to help with the heat management. But Let's get it started. Yeah. See how it goes. Just for the record, this is a cold start. <laughs> it hasn't started this since yesterday. That bitch is fucking loud. It's very fucking loud. I have yet to fucking rev it that high. I can't believe that turbo spooled like that. It did. I thought it sounded pretty nice. I don't know if the camera caught it. Go ahead. All right. So now we're installing the intercooler and everything. We're getting the car put back together. We just finished putting the suspension on and everything. You guys seen it in the time lapse, um, hopefully. Um, we just finished putting the intercooler back in. Um, since I built this single turbo kit custom, um, now we have to do the custom turbo pipe to the intercooler. So, a buddy of mine went to a scrapyard and found this spare tubing and everything out of like Honda parts that he found. Um, some of them were for his Boost Civic that he has. So, he actually let me borrow a couple of pipes. Um, the pipe that he actually gave me was actually perfect. It was a straight cut. It was about a foot, foot long. Um, and then it had a little bevel to it, a little 90. Um, we cut that 90, just put a little angle so the connectors can connect to the, the intercooler. Um, so it actually ended up being perfect. I had to do no welding or anything. So it saved us time and it fits perfectly. So we're gonna try to get you guys some pictures and everything. We'll post that in the video. Um, just I could probably video, put it somewhere in this corner here. Yeah, we'll just because pictures. the videos and everything is gonna be a little too dark inside there. Um, so we're gonna post some nice pictures and everything so you can see the piping and all the clamp work and all that. Um, but right now what we're doing is we're gonna put the last connector on the, on the pipe. Um, we're going to finish bolting up the intercooler, bolt it down, make sure it's nice and secure. Um, and Start then up. we'll be able to put the wheels on and everything, roll her out. And let's see what the boost sounds like. For back to the time lapse. I'm fucking hyped for this. All right, we're going back on the time lapse. All right, so we got the turbo and everything hooked up. We got the intercooler hooked up. We got all the pipe work and everything done. Um, blow off valve and everything is installed. We got new silicone couplers um, because my old ones, <laughs> I was running 28 PSI, but if you can see here, I have a tear inside the it's coupler. Not, it's not focusing. Bring it in for some light. It's all right. <laughs> Well, hopefully you guys can see the content. There we go. You can definitely see a hole in there. Yeah. Anyways, that, for some reason, my belt rubbed on the coupler. I don't know how because it's so far away from the, um, the belts. Hey. But Amazon's somehow, here. Somehow it, oh, Amazon's here. We get to finish the car. <laughs> yes, we Perfect. do. We got parts. Yep, Hold let's on. go. I'll be back with the parts. <laughs> Keep recording. 
Oh, shit, I just almost busted my ass. This is what we was waiting for in order to finish the car. We was gonna call it quits because I was waiting for this to be delivered. This is three millimeter vacuum line for the waste gates and for the max solenoid. So we're gonna get this plumbed up real quick. It'll take all, all of a minute. And then we can finish putting the fan back on. Um, we can connect the transmission and cooler and we can start throwing the bumper, headlight, and the hood and everything back on. Oh, fuck that, let's just move it, start it, see how, yep. <laughs> if we need to move anything. And then we'll start putting our front end together. So fucking damn. Keep, I can't remember I gotta edit this and I gotta bleep myself out. I gotta stop cursing. Oh, you can't curse on YouTube? <laughs> no, not anymore. Fuck. You can. <laughs> <laughs> you can, just not too often. We didn't do it too often. No, no, I do though. That's my thing. I have, yeah. I have to bleep myself out and it's so dumb. Yeah, go ahead. Give, give me more work. We work in a garage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing mechanic work. It's definitely going to be Christmas. Got it. I'll, I'll just bleep it out with a, with a blow of foul sound. Facts. <laughs> so every time you curse. <laughs> Little man's angry over there. <laughs> it don't matter. I'll probably end up cutting some of this off anyway. Alright, she's on. I think I ordered this too small. I should have got like a six millimeter. It's alright. I have issues with boosting. All I gotta do is change that boost. Alright, give us a good amount to play with. So good. And you're running this to the cylinder, right? Yes, sir. Now we can throw the fan on and do all that good stuff. Let me. Can I just start a lot on it again. No, I'll just keep it on the floor. No, no, no. Just... I'm just gonna do the start right now. I'm not sure if you have anything to do, so we get that done. You still gotta uh, drill there. Drill and tap it. Yeah, yep. that's some other time. You could rely on just the waste sweep pressure for now, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's only ten pounds. I only have a ten pound spring in there. So I have a 10 pound spring in there. Um, my tuner said to go with a 10 for now until we break the turbo in and all that good stuff. And then um, I'm not sure what he's planning on tuning me to. Um, this car was tuned on 28 PSI. I was running the 17T turbos. I won't be running that much on um, boost with um, the big turbo. So I'm thinking maybe around 20, 20, 24 PSI is what the car is gonna be at. I'm hoping to make six, 700. Um, I'm going to be running 485. I'm going to be having, um, I'll have port injection and everything. Maybe mm -hmm. we'll get some content about it as well when I install my port injection. Yeah, we got to show them that right there. The meth. The meth injection. Yes, I do have meth injection on this car. I'm running the, the burger, burger tuning water methanol kit. I have no complaints about the kit. Um, a lot of people say that the kit's no good, that it sucks, it leaks and everything. Um, I say if you do everything proper and follow the instructions and everything, you'll be good. I have no leaks. I have my methanol when I need it. Um, the only thing I, I wish would have came with the kit is um, a gauge, like the boost gauge type stuff. The gauge will tell you when you're running low or when the pump is actually on, when it's supposed to be spraying. Um, because all you're, all you're doing is you're relying on your tune. Like you're hoping that that pump is on and that you're getting your water methanol. I use my water methanol to cool my IATs. I do not use it as a fueling um, injection. I just use it to cool down the temperatures. So. I also don't run full methanol neither. I don't run 100% meth. I run um, boost juice. Boost juice. I run boost juice to my car. So this is a 50-50 blend. Well, it's a 51-49 blend, but who cares? 50-50. 50% -50. Um, methanol and a 50% um, distilled water, I believe it is. So this is what I run on my car. Is that um, your fucking high pressure? I get this stuff. That's the low pressure fuel pump. That's just a lot of... Yeah, it's bucket list. <laughs> I run, I get this stuff off of Amazon. I get four of them for like, I think it's like 50 bucks. There you go, Amazon. Free plug. Yes, <laughs> yes. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. We just got no, a package. No, I need eBay to sponsor me. Yes. So, yeah. Um, Boost Juice. I get four of these off Amazon. Next day shipping. Can't complain. 
And the methanol lasts me a pretty good amount of time. Um, I do daily my car, yes. And I'm not usually in boost a lot. Uh, I lied. I'm, yeah, I'm I was actually, about to say that's a lie. Yeah, I'm always in <laughs> You're boost. constantly in there's, boost. There's always people out here that are messing with me, mostly Subarus. But lately, I've been getting some focuses. Um, they're always trying to race me. So I am in boost a lot. So since I'm always in boost and everything, I daily the car and everything, I usually fill up my methanol tank like every other week. And it's not even because it emptied out. It's just because it's getting a little low. I don't like to have my tank low because if I'm going on a far trip someday and I run out of methanol, I'm like, damn, I should have filled up. Just walk around with the jug. <laughs> yeah, so every every two weeks, I like to fill up my tank. It usually gets about... Where is the tank for the, the for, tank. for the meth? I have my tank in the trunk. Okay. Um, I would show you, but I have stuff on the trunk right now from the parts. Yeah, there's a bunch of shit. So, all over. Um, when we get the car completed and everything, we'll do we'll do a walk around, show you guys the whole build, how everything came out, what are my mods and all that stuff. Um, I would tell you guys all that now, but we're, today we're focused on getting the single turbo kit done. But enough talking. I think we should get the cold start. Yeah, let's get it. And what these bluffs out sound like. Let it warm up. Yes. <laughs>
Oh, that's the rap. No, that's not. That's the okay, heat rap. Yeah, it's actually getting heated up now. Yeah. I got word for a minute. Yeah, I was scared the coil packs were touching. Did you hit boost on it? Fuck no. <laughs> Bro, she picked up quick. I hit, I did like half throttle. But I'm scared because she's popping real loud and there's kids and everything around. Yeah. All the neighbors are out right now, too. Let's gonna let the heat rap fucking Bro, settle in. The sound inside the car is insane. Sound out. Alright, all right, so we finally got the servo kit installed. Um, inner cooler piping and all that stuff is done. The only thing we don't have set up right now is the max solenoid. It's not connected to the vacuum lines or anything. But it's alright. We only have a 10 pound spring inside here. And my car is tuned on 28 PSI when I was running twin turbos. So I don't think 10, 10 PSI will hurt anything. If anything, it's under power right now. Yeah. A little filthy. I can see that on camera. <laughs> before the cops come that lady was definitely recording i guarantee you she called the cops they're gonna be back oh my god dude <laughs> oh. bruh dude that was i was i was bro, i was I, I was not right expecting now. that I at all <laughs> oh. no lie, I, bro, gotta... I am shaking <laughs> holy wait shit. till you see the actual footage <laughs> <laughs> my fucking phone almost hit me in the face oh my god, <laughs> Oh, shit. Let's wrap it up. All right. So good news. We have no no leaks, no nothing. We're hitting boost, and the car is insane right now. I'll tell you. What do you think about the car? <laughs> I was not expecting that, bro. Neither of us <laughs> was expecting it. I was on 28 psi before on twins. I was running eBay 17T turbos, uh, meth injection. Um, I use VP fuel, so I mix it. I get an X40 blend. I don't use pump E85 just because I don't want to deal with the hassle, E60, E70, whatever it is. I run VP fuel as E90 or more all the time. So I'm running E40 blend, meth injection. Now we're single turbo and we're only running 10 PSI because that's all my wastegate is on. Dude, but even for those 10 PSI, that was for, insane. Just for the 10 PSI, oh my gosh. It was, it was insane. Oh my gosh. It felt so much faster it and so bucked. much more power than my twins <laughs> making 28 PSI. So that shows you the difference in flow from a big turbo yeah. compared to small twins that are probably like my my turbine will fit inside these fingers a big turbo flows so much more air than those little twins bro especially on top end where it picked up the turbo spooled pretty fucking quick too oh excuse my language turbo spooled, <laughs> turbo spooled, pulled, uh, turbo turbo spooled, spooled really well too for a homemade manifold that's not even twin scroll or anything it's just a single mm -hmm. single pipe going to the turbo it's pulled very fast and we will show you how we made it because when we start yes. doing mine we're gonna record the whole progress we are gonna be doing another manifold yes mm -hmm. um the same exact manifold that i made here i made a jig so i can replicate it um we're gonna be making it on his wide body e92 335 it's not all we drive built. Either built. <laughs> yes it's gonna be a budget build super friendly budget build um ebay waste gates ebay turbos um the manifold and everything is going to be top notch though. We're going to use 304L, Schedule 10 stainless and everything. Everything else is going to be quality. Yeah. We're going to show you guys what an eBay turbo can do on a 335. I've already proven that the eBay 17T turbos do work. They do. Mine failed though because my I decided to run burbles. Um, <laughs> I, ran, I ran the car for about a month with no burbles. The car sounded great. You could hear the turbo spooling up and everything, but it sounded too quiet. I'm used to the burbles and the BMW popping and all that stuff. Um, people like that stuff. It catches people's attention. I like. I'm, I'm a neck breaker. I like that. <laughs> so I got tired of the quietness. I turned on the bubbles, the burbles. Bubbles. <laughs> and um, I decided to send the car to get tuned. I was tuned on 28 psi. Um, it's a personal tuner. It's local to me. It's not Doc Wu or uh, Motive or anything like that. Um, it's a personal tuner. Really good tune. I had no issues. Um, but the car ran good for 10,000 miles on burbles. Then my turbos failed on me. Um, they weren't blowing smoke or anything. I just wasn't building any parts. I was getting water water water. That's the flappers though. Usually that's yeah, the flappers. flappers. So when I took the turbos off, I noticed that my hot side compressor wheel had 
two chips on the turbines. I don't have them because I am actually sold the turbos. But they had two chips on the turbines that were caused from the, the burble pops. Um, they were blowing up inside, you know, causing the explosions that caused the burbles. And it chipped off the two. So with those teeth missing on the turbines, it, it, was causing, all of a now. it was causing um, vibration on the, on the compressor wheel. So it was no longer balanced. So I think that's what made my turbos fail. Other than that, I've never had an issue with my 17T eBay turbos. So now we're gonna go above that and beyond. We're gonna go with an eBay GT3582 turbo, I believe it is. is that Super budget millimeter? friendly. You guys wanna know how much the turbo is? The turbo is only $125. $125 for a turbo. It's Big gonna turbo go, too. It's gonna go one or two ways. One of two ways. It's yes. either gonna perform and do what we want it to do, yes. or we're gonna send a rod through the atmosphere. Yes. Either way is gonna make for good content, so. Yes. So we're gonna do a super budget friendly build, man. We're gonna do a homemade manifold um, surprise for you guys coming. Um, we won't tell you where the hood. Uh, I messed <laughs> you already up. Fucked All up. right, you already I'm, fucked I'm just up. gonna tell you guys. I already <laughs> messed it up. We're doing hood exit on this bad boy. We're doing hood exit dump um, up pipe from turbo, so and we're doing secret. wastegate pipe. Yes, I messed up. I'm not. I'm not used to making these videos, man. I'm not used to making these videos. I'm used to just building the cars and getting yeah, yeah. what I need. Um, this is my first time actually doing a videos for you guys. Um, he decided uh, he wanted a single turbo kit. He's a buddy of mine, known him for a while. He wanted a single turbo kit. Actually, it all started because he wanted me to upgrade his twin Twins. turbos. He wanted me to fix them. I'm like, yo. So he's he's the he's the reason behind it. Yes, I'm actually <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm actually building a single turbo kit, super budget friendly. The money you're gonna spend to rebuild your twin turbos and the parts that you're gonna need and everything, go single turbo. So I convinced him for you guys. You guys are gonna get all the single turbo content. You guys are gonna see all the, the process and everything, the fabrication. Yep. You're gonna see how we put the manifolds together, how we get our parts. Um, you're going to see this eBay Turbo, see how it works. We're going to go with eBay Wastegate as well. We're still deciding on what Wastegate we want to go with. Yeah. We, but yeah, Turbo's guaranteed. I mean, you have eBay. one there. I'll just get that yes, one off I you. have guaranteed eBay GT35 Turbo. That's guaranteed. Let's see how that bad boy holds up. Yes. So $125 <laughs> for a Turbo, give or take some. Um, I think I saw a Wastegate for like 100 bucks, 150 bucks around there. So less than 500 bucks, you already have your main stuff. Yeah, we're trying um, to keep it budget friendly. Yes, it's going to be super budget. And when we, we get are, that build yeah. and we put it all together, we will give you a parts list and everything of how much everything costs. And we're also trying going to see how or what the reliability on it is. Yes. So, so we'll give you guys. this is actually my first time building a turbo manifold. Um, and it looks it's not, great. It's not my first time welding, though. Um, we'll try I wish to, I, I actually I got can, your your raw pictures you from before. Pictures? Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna try to get. Some I'll probably put it like somewhere, like, like somewhere, like it's like some somewhere here. Somewhere, here, yeah, where my face. <laughs> Just is. block his face. Yeah. Um, we're gonna show you guys the process of my build. Um, it took me about three weeks to build this manifold. Um, just because I was waiting on material and everything, shipping and everything is crazy with the COVID. Um, but things are are you know we're getting here slowly. I'm gonna start ordering stuff in bulk so I don't I don't have to wait weeks to get parts. Um, now are they gonna, gonna be able to you, buy this if you have them? Um. No, not yet. If there's like maybe one or two people that want to get a manifold, um, hit his email up or comment on here. Um, you guys can follow me on IG on Instagram. Um, my Instagram is Frenchy F R E N C H I underscore. Just tell me, text me and I'll, I'll put it somewhere in the. Oh, you can put it in the description yeah. too. Um, Frenchy underscore Fab F A B like fabrication. That's my Instagram. You'll be able to see all my builds. I have a Neon SRT4. We won't show you because it's a mess. Yeah, right, yeah, we're gonna yeah. show you anyways. <laughs> um, that's my SRT4. You'll be able to see the build on there. Um, we have another SRT4 over there. That's the Beauty Queen. Um, we have my 335, and you guys are also gonna get content on Jermaine's 335 wide body. Um, you guys are gonna have a bunch of content coming, a bunch of fabrication work, a bunch of turbo stuff. Yeah. Um, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. Um, we're excited to get this budget friendly turbo build kit going. Um, I'm excited. He's gonna end up going with my tuner. Um, I'm gonna finish this car up. I need to extend the coil packs and then it's gonna get sent off to get um, tuned. I'm gonna do port injection. We'll get the install in there for you guys as well. Um, and we're gonna you gotta go relocate that too. Yes. Um, we're going to be running full VP X85. We're not doing E85. I'm doing full VP X85. Sorry. So, so let's just, before we even get further into the build. Yes. What are your horsepower goals? So when I first got this car, I wanted to make the 500 horsepower that everybody claims that a 335 can do with just full bolt-ons. Which they can. Um, it is possible, yes. But it's not in the $1,500 range that people no, say. Absolutely it's not. definitely not. I that's, wasted way more than that. Yeah, that's cap. Um, you need the tune and you need the fueling and everything is you definitely it's, it's need more than $1,500. $1,500 for the kit. Yes. It doesn't tell you everything else. So my power goals when I got this car, I wanted to make 500 that everybody said you can make with 335s. 500 got boring. 
So that's when I went with the 17T turbos. I made 550 to 600, my tuner said. I never actually dynoed the car just because I don't have an all-wheel drive dyno out here. But I did find an all-wheel drive dyno and we will be sending this car to get dynoed and we will get that content for you guys. So we can see exactly what numbers she's made. But for my realistic goals that I want to make, I want to make 650. But that's still with all yes. the shit you got on. No, that's yes. that's way. Fucking... What I what I want to shoot for is 700. That's that's realistically what I want to shoot for. So to run that, we have the single turbo kit. We got the the ignition coils. We have everything. Basically, I have yeah, all the supporting mods. The only thing that I would need in order to make that power level is gonna be my poor injection kit with the 750cc injectors and one more fuel pump and then 485 and then that should hopefully get me to the 700 horsepower mark and i'm all wheel drive um we will be getting more content for you guys sometime in the future i'm actually gonna be swapping the transmission on this we are automatic automatic x drive e90 yeah so my <laughs> yeah my 17t turbos actually destroyed my transmission um not necessarily destroyed um fourth gear won't shift into fifth gear on its own i have to do the paddle and sometimes it, it hesitates um, I did the gaskets, I did the seals, I did the maintenance on the transmission and everything, and it still doesn't help. So, transmission's toast. Um, we're actually going to be going with the 6HP28X transmission. It's a new, new something new that came out to the platform. Um, and that's from the 335D, right? Uh, BMW X5 diesel. Oh, is it from the X5? Yeah, oh. X5 diesel. Um, I don't know the years off the top of my head. But when we do the trains and everything, we'll tell you guys more info. Um, a buddy of mine, Josh, actually came up with the, the plating and everything, the back in order to get that transmission working for 35 all wheel drive. So once I make the 700 horsepower, um, I'm gonna need something to put it down to the wheels. So we're talking about doing that transmission. Um, we might actually go with a carbon fiber drive shaft as well. Tires. Um, yes, Brakes. I'm gonna be, I'm thinking about running Toyo proxies, um, triple eights all around. I'm all wheel drive, so I think those tires should be all right. Um, I have 10 inch wide wheels, so I'm hoping I'll be able to put the power Wait, down you? with no spins. Yes, they're in my shed though. Oh. I have Curvacy 300s. But I might actually swap the wheels for, um, I'm running 19s. I might swap them down for like some 18s. I don't want to do 17s, it's too small. But yeah, other than that, you guys, today's, today's been a successful day. Car's been fully put back together. Turbo spools amazingly. Power feels amazing. Way more than what I was expecting. Way more. And it's not even tuned or anything for the single turbo. It's not even 485. It's just 340. So we still have a bunch of stuff more to go. So other than that, everything is perfect. No oil leaks, no coolant leaks. Um, she has a little bit of smoking, but that's due because the titanium wrap and everything mm -hmm. is settling in. But that's it for today guys thank you guys for joining us while we do our builds and we'll catch you on the next one catch you on the next one